What is up? Welcome back to another super awesome review. This time of a movie I've been looking forward to for a very, very, very long time. Now you see me as a story of four magicians, a street magician, an escapologist, a mentalist and a pickpocket who are brought together by a mysterious figure to carry out huge stage shows that turn out to be fronts for bank robberies. Couldn't fit the whole title in but we'll do it anyway. As I said, this is one I've been looking forward to for a very long time. I'm really interested in magic and I've done it myself for a few years. And then about a year ago I read about this film it would be about magicians robbing banks and I was like hey that sounds pretty cool and then I found out it'd be directed by Louis Leterrier it might be Louis Louis? I'm not sure he's French anyway who also directed the first two transporter films and uh, Clash of the Titans but we'll forget about that one and I was like yeah this is getting pretty interesting and then I saw the cast list whoa oh my god I need to see this film like right now Dave Franco, if I'm honest, I'm not too keen on. I'd take James Franco over Dave Franco any day. Oh God, that sounded wrong. Isla Fisher, I genuinely feel, is one of the most underutilised actresses in all of Hollywood, and Jesse Eisenberg and Woody Harrelson have been reunited to continue the dynamic they had in Zombieland. Let's face it, this film is Ocean's 4 with magicians, and that's awesome! On the other side of the law, we have Mark Ruffalo and Melanie Laurent in Glorious Bastards. That's where you recognise her. She plays the Super Jew. And they two play the FBI agents chasing them down. And then to top it all off, we have God and Alfred in the same movie. Again! The film starts off strong, the characters are introduced with flair, and you're like, yes, I am so psyched for this movie. Within a year, they go from meeting for the first time to selling out Las Vegas shows. I want to know what agent they had. I could really use his help. And this is where they start robbing the banks. But it's also where you run into the first problem of this film. These guys put their neck on the line to rob millions from banks, but then they distribute the money to the audience. So, what do they stand to gain? Probably just for the thrill and the notoriety, but who really cares, it's not that important. It then stays very entertaining for the whole film. The heist scenes and the magic scenes are a joy to watch, and there's even a fight scene where it turns out Dave Franco's Gambit from X-Men. But Mark Ruffalo doesn't turn into the Hulk and that's like, ah. Oh. It's great fun to watch the magicians and the FBI play cat and mouse and try to outsmart each other. The interrogation scene, for example, is just so well done. Jesse Eisenberg is in full-on social network smart-ass mode, and the conflict between that and Mark Ruffalo's no-nonsense approach just leaves you with a huge grin on your face, and you're like, oh, you... You're a cool guy. And Woody Harrelson is the film's comic relief and he walks away with all of the best lines. Unfortunately the film rushes towards its finale. It should have spent a little bit more time with the characters as individuals and then as a group. These had the potential to be the coolest group on film since the Avengers and it's been wasted. I get the impression that some key sequences have been cut down to its bare minimum in order to please the sort of teenagers with a short attention span. And this is a real shame, especially seeing as how the ending I personally feel is quite unsatisfying. Don't worry I won't give anything away, but it seemingly involves technology from like the Prometheus spaceship and it seems a bit alien compared to the rest of the movie. Honestly, I feel this movie was strongest and the audience engaged most when it used the character skill sets to rob the banks in a realistic, if slightly exaggerated way. But don't cheat us by using CGI to do the impossible and then say, oh yeah, magic. For a movie that constantly talks about the closer you look, the less you see, I find it a bit odd that it goes to painstaking lengths to set up all these elaborate heists and then it immediately explains explicitly what happened every step of the way. Maybe, at least for the final one, they should have left some of it unexplained and the audience wondering how they did it. You know, like a real magic trick. Ironically enough, for a film that's all about magic tricks and deception, the big twist is actually fairly predictable if you're paying attention in a few key scenes. I think by like the second robbery, I'd pretty much figured out what was going to happen. Overall, 4 out of 5. This film was so close to being my first 5 star review. It had everything going for it. A great cast, a great story, a great premise. Magicians as bank robbers. How did this take so long? But it's let down by a weak ending and I left wishing I'd seen a lot more of the main characters. Okay, thank you for sticking around to the end of this video. I hope you liked it. Did you see the film? Do you agree with what I was saying? Do you not agree with what I was saying? Let me know in the comments below. If you like my review, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you can see what else I've been doing. I'll put a little box at the top of the screen here so you can do just that. Please share the video on Facebook and Twitter and anything else you've got. Please tell other people about my channel. Um, I've got plenty of other videos coming up soon, including some very exciting ones that aren't just reviews. So please subscribe and stick around.